Okay, well, welcome everybody to Internship Spring 24. My name is Jan Potsman. I'm the Assistant Director at the CSUN Career Center. And I'd like to introduce to you our speaker for the day uh, for Handshake A to Z. Um, her name is Sarah Lamont. Sarah is the Employment Services and Event Coordinator at the CSUN Career Center. She's been there for 12 years. 16 years. Oh my goodness, over 16 years. She is a CSUN alumna from the Mike Kerb College of Arts, Media and Communication. Sarah is a great enthusiast of career exploration and finding the right career field and industry that fits your unique background and direction. In her free time, Sarah likes to draw, take pictures, listen to music, uh, watch films, and take walks in nature. Welcome, Sarah Lalong. Thank you, Jan. Welcome, everyone. Um, so today we're going to talk about Handshake A to Z. And um, before we get started, um, we just want to take um, a, a poll of um, what uh, do you know about um, what is your current level of knowledge um, with Handshake? And um, so if you're just joining, we're doing a poll really quick. Um, I'm not sure if it shows up for students who are just joining, but um, uh, we and we are recording um so please don't have your um your video on um because we will be posting this online um and so please don't have your video on um and i feel like we have a hundred percent students who've answered so great thank you for answering um I'm just sharing the results really quick if you want to take a look. Um, and I'm going to stop the sh share results. And, let's and please that. make sure you turn off your cameras and uh, turn off your sound. And so today we're going to talk about Handshake A to Z. And um, we're going to talk about how to access Handshake, your account management, jobs in Handshake, events in Handshake, employers in Handshake, your messages in Handshake, and then Career Center resources. So we're kind of going through the whole system. And there's a lot to go over. Um, so please um, put your questions in the Q&A. We'll go over um, the questions at the end. Um, so first, Accessing Handshake. How do you access Handshake? You're going to go to CareerLink. Um, CareerLink is our online career education platform where we host all of our career resources. It's curated by CSUN career counselors, and um, you can find all your academic majors and also Handshake in, in CareerLink. Um, you will access Handshake with your student portal login credentials. There are um, instances where students um, don't have a Handshake account and would need to register. Um, but if you log in with your CSUN portal login, um, we've already created accounts for students with your portal login. So uh, you should be able to access with your CSUN portal login credentials. Uh, and when the first time you log in, there's going to be um, a series of questions about your career interests. So Handshake can kind of get a sense of what you're interested in so that it can push more relevant opportunities to you. So if you're a freshman or a sophomore, or if you're a senior or a junior, your career interests will be different and Handshake will try and um, make sure those interests you, the, the content is as relevant to your interest as possible. You don't have to set those all up at when you first log in and we'll go over where to find those later. And then the homepage and navigation. So let's go, um, let's say I'm going to CareerLink for the first time. I'm gonna go to students 
And um, I'm going to log into CareerLink with my CSUN portal login credentials. And um, Handshake is in the yellow section. You can get it from here or from the menu. You can find it down here. Once you're here, you're going to find some additional resources for on-campus student employment, internships, jobs, a lot of great um, resources. Um, but we're going to focus on Handshake for today and go into Handshake. So um, because I already logged in with my portal and I've been in Handshake before, my CSUN portal login is seamless and I just went directly into Handshake. If you've never been in Handshake before, um, it may ask you to enter your CSUN portal login credentials again. So this is the home page, and um, oh, I just realized this whole time I was on another screen. Um, so let me uh, new private window and um, let's here. Hold on. Oh. So that link takes you to csun.edu slash career link. And this is um, when you go to career link, this is uh, the login page. You're going to use your CSUN portal login credentials like I was in, um, speaking of earlier. And um, let me just do authenticate. Yes, this is my device. And now I'm in CareerLink. Um, so the yellow section I was talking about, you can find it right from the dash, the home page right here. And you can also go to the drop down menu and select it from here. So, like I was saying, there's a lot of resources for finding um, employment um, in CareerLink, which is why we host Handshake in CareerLink, so that you're um, exposed to additional resources for job searching. And uh, for today's presentation, we are gonna go into Handshake. So um, now, because I'm in a private browsing window, it's not recognizing my login. Um, but when I was in my regular browsing window, it just took me directly into Handshake and I didn't have to log in for a second time. Um, and I'm, I actually didn't have to log in, but it's now seeing me as a different user type. So logged into Handshake for the first time. And um, this is the Handshake homepage. Um, so we just discussed about how to access Handshake. For the most part, you're gonna use your student login credentials with the portal. Um, and um, you can always set up your career interests at another time or as you do it for the first time. Okay, let's go to the, the next slide. We're gonna talk about account management. So from your image or initials in the upper right-hand corner of Handshake, you'll get a drop down menu. Um, here, you'll be able to manage your profile, um, jobs that you've saved, um, if you have meetings scheduled and documents uploaded, your career interests. Again, as you move through your um, education, your career interests will change. Maybe as a freshman, you really want an on-campus job. As a junior, you might be looking for an internship, and then as a senior, looking for full-time employment. So your career interests will change as you change through your academic journey. And very important um, to talk about are the settings, including privacy settings, and, and what do those settings mean? Um, Handshake's uh, a networking uh, platform. So, you can choose to have your profile um, private, open to students, alums, and employers, or just employers. Um, and let's go back into Handshake, and um, we're going to see what those settings look like 
and some key details uh, about those. So here we are in Handshake. Um, and um, so we have my profile. Uh, let's go into the profile. Here you have, um, because we already have CSUN students in Handshake automatically, some details from uh, CSUN are in there, such as like your graduation date, um, your school year, your major. And let's say you change your major, you can make some changes um, to your profile. Um, but if you're not able to make the changes, um, you can always contact us at handshake at csun.edu. Here you can see I've inputted some education. Um, I was a transfer student and got my AA degree at College of the Canyons, and I've included that. Um, you can see some work experience. If I were in any clubs or organizations, you could also put those in there. Um, for example, um, women in engineering is a very popular one. Uh, and, and so you'll see like some of them already um, populate. Um, and you can put courses. So a lot of students don't necessarily have a lot of professional experience. So selling your experience um, becomes a lot more um, uh, complex. You can choose work experience, but you can also choose your academic experience, which employers, knowing that your students are interested in knowing more about, you can put courses in there that you feel are relevant to the jobs that you're looking for. If you're looking for a marketing job, you might want to put um, a communications class you've taken or a psychology class could be relevant to a marketing student. Um, and just knowing which courses um, to highlight um, can be helpful. Um, projects, uh, projects show, um, a transferable skill of teamwork, which is one of the number one skills employers are looking for, which makes college students very competitive applicants because they demonstrated um, teamwork a lot in group projects. Um, you can put skills here. Like if you've learned how to use um, certain software or you were, learning customer service in a previous job. Um, you can put those in there. And then documents would be your resumes, cover letters, unofficial transcripts, writing samples, and um, this will take you to the document section. So that's an overview of the, um, uh, the profile. If you wanna see what employers can see from your profile, you can do a, an employer view. Um, I've chosen to share my pronouns, so um, those are visible. Um, they're not defaulted. And um, so, yeah, like GPA, um, personal information, that's going to be hidden. Um, and then let's, let's, let's go to settings. So the reason I wanted to go into settings is because I wanna show you the privacy settings. This is where you're gonna, um, from your avatar, you're gonna select settings and it's gonna take you here. And under privacy, you can choose um, to have your profile visible to other students, alums, and employers. If a student is looking for an alum who graduated from CSUN and, um, and is currently working at CSUN, I would be filtered um, to that. Um, to that group and you could find a, a, a mentor or if you need to find a job, if you want to find um, someone to job shadow, there's a lot of uh, reasons why you would want to keep it open to community um, 
employers will allow, allow you to receive messages and job opportunities from employers. Um, and private um, will, um, you'll be able to apply for jobs, but won't get it contacted by employers. Um, when you check in with an employer at a career fair, uh, they'll be able to see your basic information and message you. So if you go to a job fair and you scan a Q QR code to check in with that employer, then that employer now has permission to reach out to you um, through Handshake, not directly to your personal email. Um, okay, um, so that's settings. One more thing about settings is um, adding another email. Now, depending on your class level, if you're a senior, if you're close to graduation, or if you're an alum, you're gonna wanna update your email address and Handshake. Um, you can uh, do that by selecting these three dots. And um, well, first you would go to add another email, enter the email, you have to go to your email inbox, confirm the email, and then come back here and you can, once it's there, you can make it primary. And so now I've changed my primary, my primary email. Um, you can update notification preferences here too, um, of when you wanna receive emails. And uh, going back to the pro the um, account management, uh, I just I I did want to go to documents. Here's where you can add new documents if you want it visible on your profile. It's very easy. Um, and um, it's clearly headed where you would upload upload which document. If sometimes employers ask you for your availability. Um, and you can, or your class schedule, if it's an on-campus employer or your work study award, um, those are things you could upload as other document. Um, so that's the document section. And then for career interests, this is where things are gonna change through your academic journey. Um, and you can indicate what you're interested in and what kind of job roles you're interested in, what city are you interested in living? If you're open to move to Portland, you could put Portland, Oregon, or um, here are which industries you're interested in working in. Um, and then again, job functions, um, which are more broad than job roles, but similar to job roles and then save your career interests and you've updated your um, interests. Now, like let's say you, you're you searching a lot for a marketing job, but you haven't um, indicated that you're interested in a marketing role. Handshake's still gonna remember that you're actively looking for marketing jobs. And so it's gonna remember that and target those jobs to you as well. Um, so let's go back to the presentation. Again, if you have questions, please put them in the chat and we will go over them at the end. Um, going back to the um, presentation. Um, we're gonna talk next about jobs. So when you go to the jobs tab, the jobs are gonna be filtered to the most relevant jobs to you based on your career interests, your academic, um, information and what jobs and employers you're actively um, engaging with, if you are. Um, but you can filter them by date if you wanna switch that, um, how they're filtered to you. And you have additional filters. Um, you can do a keyword search. So if you're looking for marketing, keyword search marketing. If you're looking for accounting, um, keyword search accounting. Um, Graphic designer, you could even just do graphic and see what you get. Um, location, if you're um, looking for a job in the LA area, you can search Los Angeles. If you're looking for, if, you're, if your location is um, um, more broad, you can search, you can even leave that blank. Um, on-site remote, if you're looking for a remote job, you can filter jobs by if they're remote. Um, and then 
all filters. You can search by job type, which would be internship, uh, job, on-campus student employment, um, fellowship, co-op, ex experiential learning opportunity. Um, you can search by your major and um, employer industry. If you uh, favorite a job, you'll be able to find them in the saved jobs tab. And then um, we'll talk about how to apply details. So let's go in and look at jobs real quick. We've pretty much gone over um, the filters. Again, just wanna show you um, job type. We have on campus, um, internship, if you qualify for work study, you can filter to work study. Um, if you're looking for an on-campus interview, you can do interviewing on campus. Um, paid or unpaid, those are gonna be um, typically reserved for internship opportunities. Um, again, on-site remote, hybrid, um, popular in your major, so that's a, Handshake is a national database, so it's not collecting just based on um, your major at CSUN. It's in general, you know, UCLA is in Handshake, um, uh, Cal State LA is in Handshake, um, uh, Cal State Dominguez Hills is in Handshake. So there's a lot of schools in the area who are also in Handshake. So, um, and so employers posting in our region, um, you can see across like schools what what um, jobs are popular in your major. Um, you can filter based on employers who are known to hire from CSUN, close to campus, popular with alumni, um, for specific colleges and um, hidden gems. Um, if you wanna network with employers, you can filter based on that. If you know what kind of job you're looking for, you can filter by job role, industry, employer, um, work authorization. Some employers will indicate that they are willing to sponsor, and so um, you can filter jobs that way. I don't want this these filters to deter students from reaching out to employers um, because sometimes employers will be open to sponsoring. They just don't know a lot about the process. Um, and then show results. Um, so talking about the apply, you can do a quick apply and just... Um, go directly to the job. But um, if you wanna read more, you can select the job title and this will open up the whole job posting and you can um, carefully read the description, make sure, you know, sometimes they all have a job listed here, but um, on their website, but the information will be different, you know, it, the the listing and the fields are not the same. Um, so this it this does feel very, very thorough on their page. Um, but um, it shows that I meet all of their um, preferences. Even if you don't meet all their preferences, it's we still encourage students to apply. Um, you, if your work experience, um, can uh, make up for your academic um, major. Sometimes employers will look at the whole story, not just like um, what your major is. It's it's not a, a lot of majors are not um, a direct career path like nursing or accountancy. Um, so your previous work experience and your personal interests, they all, create this story of who you are and why you're a good candidate. Um, and your major only adds to that. Um, let's go. So if you, so to talk about the application process, um, they're, they wanna know, did I finish it? Because they'll report that, and I didn't. 
So um, if I want to save it, um, it's going to be in my Save Jobs tab now. Um, and I wanted to get some different application. That, that was apply externally. So they're directing you outside of Handshake to apply directly on their website. Um, this one I can tell because it doesn't say apply externally, but they want you to apply in Handshake. So if I apply, I get these application details um, and it's telling me to upload my resume, a cover letter and other instructions. They want um, a portfolio or relevant design samples. And so um, those are instructions listed by the employer. It's important to make sure that you're reading thoroughly um, the criteria for applying. Um, some employers will use the application process as a screening method to see if you're able to follow directions, um, if you're detail oriented. Um, so you wanna make sure to read it thoroughly and make sure you're um, applying correctly and not accidentally uploading a cover letter for another job um, for a different employer. Um, and then let's go, let's see another, let's see for this one, apply. So here it's telling me my school year doesn't match, um, but I'm still able to submit uh, a application. Uh, and I'm actually gonna withdraw this application because um, it just defaulted to my, my resume, um, but it's not a real resume and I'm not really applying to this job. So if you accidentally apply for a job and you wanna uh, make sure that you, um, if, if you wanna remove it, you, you do have the option to withdraw it. I recommend if you're applying to jobs, you can, um, uh, go and review and make sure you've uploaded the right um, applications. If the employer's already reviewed the, the, the application, then you wouldn't have the option to remove, withdraw the application. Um, so that's the application process. Sometimes employers will have you apply directly in Handshake. Sometimes employers will have you apply externally. In the end, you wanna make sure you're following all the instructions um, to apply. So that's the jobs. Again, if you have questions, please put them in the chat or the Q&A and we'll answer them at the end. Um, uh, we're gonna go and talk about events now. Um, the Career Center hosts a lot of events um, and workshops and external employers will also host events and even other career services on the CSUN campus will host events. And we're gonna talk about um, the different departments hosting events, as well as employers and the different types of events too. So we have workshops, information sessions, career fairs, and um, within career fairs, you also have sub tabs for um, career fair details and then the employer list. So let's get into it. Um, so I went directly into the events page and there's a lot of events in there and it's still, I, I kind of want to explore the filters before going through and seeing all these different events. So if I want to um, only look at career fairs at CSUN, I, that's a filter that's used a lot. And so I can see the different events now. Um, if you open up, for instance, Meet the Ferns, this career fair is hosted by the accounting department. And um, there's some registration details for accounting majors. Um, and you can see I'm not qualified to join because I'm not an accounting student. Um, so if you see all employers, you can still see the employers. Um, and if you're interested, let's say, you really want to meet with this um, employer. You can open up their um, employer profile 
and um, you can follow them anytime they post a job or attend something in Handshake, you'll be notified. You can also research. Um, you can see uh, down at the bottom, maybe the links when I hover over, um, the, these uh, icons will direct you to um, their pages. And yeah, this logo is not updated yet. Um, you can see jobs they have listed. You can message students. Um, we'll go over that more in detail, but um, even if you don't qualify to attend the fair, you can still use it as a tool to research employers that are interested in hiring CSUN students. And um, so that's um, a fair that's not, um, that's only open to uh, college of, or the Department of Accounting. Here we have um, industry night, again, not qualified to join because this is a college of business and economics career fair. And, um, but again, if I wanted to see the employers that are coming, I could still review them and um, uh, do my own external research. And the fact that they're coming to campus and that they are recruiting season students does give you a networking in. You can start a message off um, I see that you're coming to the industry night. This event is hosted with the College of Business. Um, I'm currently studying in um, family and consumer sciences, in uh, health and uh, human development. Um, I was wondering if you had any pointers on how to apply to this job or what makes a good applicant. I'm really interested in learning more about this company. So. Um, the fact that they're coming on campus is a way for you to start the conversation. Even the fact that they've requested to post jobs with CSUN is an in for you. Any employer you find in Handshake has asked to post jobs with CSUN. So um, this is a special networking set that's a little more exclusive than LinkedIn, um, which is open to um, everyone. This is focused on colleges and specifically CSUN. Um, so when we talk about career fairs, I'm gonna go to um, the spring career fair. This is a general job fair for all majors and all class levels. And uh, you can see who's eligible, how to prepare. So these are the career fair details. And then um, you have all employers and you can review the employers that are coming. You can filter them somewhat. Again, employers sometimes um, will set filters and as they get closer to the event, those filters get updated. So, um, Again, if you're interested in an employer, um, don't let their um, details um, deter you. If, if, if you feel like you would be a good fit, share with the employer why you think you'd be a good fit. Um, and then if I wanna register, I do join event. And you have to answer a series of questions um, so that we have a better understanding of why you're interested in attending the event. Um, but going back to the events tab, there's other kinds of events besides career fairs. Um, and I see there's a lot of um, events out there. I wanna see what events are coming for internship week. So if I filter by career center, and I do CSUN Career Center, that's the centralized career center serving all CSUN students, including College of Business and um, Accounting. Um, you can do uh, by CSUN Career Center. And these are all the events open to students and they're filtering on relevancy for me. So um, based on what I've selected in my profile. 
you can see the other internship week um, workshops that are happening. Um, and um, if you want to, let's say you want to um, register for the session later today, um, you can select register. And now I'm registered. Um, it's letting me know it's starting in 52 minutes. If I have a question, I can send a question to the host. I can see the meeting details um, and similar events. Um, so yeah, that's um, helpful um, information. It gives you um, on how to join and what the event is gonna be about. Um, and I'm registered. And when I go back to the events, I can also filter by um, which events I've registered. If I forgot, I'm like, oh wait, did I register for that event? I can quickly see um, if I've checked in, I can see what events I've checked in at. Um, if I want to filter by employer, I can also filter by employer. So that's the events uh, section and we're going to move forward and we're going to talk about the employers. Um, we briefly started to talk about them when we were looking through the career fair details, the employer tab. Um, but um, let's get in and we're going to talk about filters um, in a database. Filters are really helpful and um, help connect um, the right people and jobs and employers together. Um, and um, we'll go into the employer profile where you can read it about the jobs. And we did talk about this, but um, let's get in there and see. So um, here we have the employer's tab from the navigation menu on the left-hand side. And these are the filters I was discussing where you can, let's say you're looking for an on-campus job and um, you want to follow the on-campus employers because you wanna be notified anytime an on-campus job gets posted. You can do a keyword search for CSUN. Uh, CSUN. <laughs> and I can go through and Follow all of these employers, um, all the departments in there. And anytime they post a job, I'll be notified. Um, and if I wanna see more information about a company, I like to use TikTok as an example because I feel they have, uh, their, their profile is very well filled out. I think it's a great example of um, college recruiting. I always tell students college recruiting is an industry in itself, um, Out, it's a niche, like recruiting industry outside of just general recruiting. A lot of companies, large organizations will have um, a college recruiting um, subdivision in their recruitment department. Um, so employers are very interested in hiring college students. College students bring a lot of transferable skills that employers are looking for. Like I said, teamwork, project, um, Group projects are a great um, indicator of uh, teamwork, communication, um, technical skills, uh, creative or critical thinking, writing, um, their diversity and inclusion. There's a lot of um, transferable skills as a college student that you're learning that regardless of your major, employers are interested in um, hiring college students. Um, so on the employer profile, we can see the industry about how many employees they have. There's some sub tabs if I wanna go specifically and see what interviews are they doing. Um, you can ask a rep um, about this position. So that's really helpful and um, a great resource. And this is for college students. It's it's not open to anyone. Um, and um, they currently don't have any jobs listed. Um, 
So there's nothing there, but if we go through um, highlights from reviews of what people said, um, if you wanna see employee perspectives, you can also go through and read those. You can see um, what college they went to, what their major was. Um, so a very helpful um, information. And here we have an about section. This is um, a lot of times employers will link out to their career page. Um, and they might have positions listed here that are not on their um, handshake profile. Um, So yeah, it's helpful information. It, they're not currently hiring, but you can do some research and get ready for when they are hiring. Um, and early careers usually indicates uh, university recruitment. Um, you can see it's can it's got campus in the the name. Um, so a lot of companies recruit to college students. Again, there's so many skills that you're learning as a college student. Um, so um, yeah, let's actually, I wanted to go back to CSUN because I did see, um, um, Here, this one has one review. So this is an on-campus employer and um, you can see students who've indicated on their profile that they've worked there. If you wanna reach out to them, you could message them. You can ask them interview advice, um, resume advice, like what, what kind of questions were they asked on the interview and, and so forth. So let's see employer tab, and there's a lot of information in there um, that's helpful when you're doing research um, and deciding, you know, what company you want to work for. Um, it's helpful. So um, this is, next we're going to talk about the inbox. Um, not much to it other than if you have your uh, privacy settings set to employer or students community, which is students, alums, and employers. Um, employers can reach out to you based on um, uh, your public profile, and you can always see what does that public profile look. They, they do give you that preview option. Um, so employers can do like a filter. Oh, I'm looking for uh, um, engineering students from CSUN. Um, and they can filter based on um, your academic profile and message you and say, hey, I think you'd be a good um, uh, candidate. Um, you can schedule chats and um, with a premium employers and um, let's go, well, I don't have it linked out. I don't, oh, I'm just gonna go really quick into the inbox. You can um, filter um, by archived, unread, inbox. When you select it, um, you can archive. If it's inappropriate, you can report it to Handshake. It's um, a community in Handshake. So um, by reporting an inappropriate message, you're actually helping another student who may get the same message and and maybe um you know that could that could be helpful for the, the student um so let's go back to the presentation um and we're going to talk about uh resources and uh the career center section in handshake um and then we'll talk about uh, question. So I'm going to try and get through this um, quickly. Um, so we have uh, 
the CSUN campus overview resources, um, including job search safety. When you're search when you're applying for jobs online, um, you want to be careful on what kind of information you're sharing with recruiters. If your profile is public, you don't want your address on your resume. Um, city and state is fine. Northridge, comma, California is fine. You don't need to put your address. Um, and um, if an employer is asking you to deposit money into a check into your account, that's a frequent job scam um, that I've had students have issues with is an employer asks them to deposit a check in and um, the, the, they do and then they transfer the money to the employer and the check bounces um, and that can happen to anyone, you know, so be careful. Also, um, don't give your social security number or your um, ID during the application process. If you're um, interviewed and you're a candidate for the position, then you know they can do a background check on you and ask for your social security number. They can't do a background check when you're in the application process because um, that's um, protected information that you, you don't wanna just give out. Um, so let's go into the Career Center tab and let's just go through it and see. Um, so this is when you go to the Career Center tab from the navigation menu, this is what you're going to see. Um, you get an overview of the school and um, a public staff listing. So if you're looking generally for the Career Center, if you're looking like if you're questioning about an on-campus interview for an accounting major or um, a meet the firms or college of business manages their academic internships in Handshake. Um, so if it's a program unique to the business school, then you would direct it to them. Um, here you can see all of our upcoming career fairs and events, um, employer collections that we've created for students and um, the resources tab is one that I like to go through. Um, we have our resume guide that is also in career link. Um, and it will, if you look down at the URL, you can see it's career link. It directs you back into career link. This is a curated resume guide by your career counselors and uh, graduate students in the college counseling program. We have job search safety tips. Um, so um, how to um, avoid those kind of jobs. And um, we do screen the employers and the jobs coming in, but um, we don't have the ability to make sure that every single employer is who they say they are um, if what we receive is Correct. Um, yeah. Um, also, I like using Glassdoor. If I am working with a recruiter and uh, I feel skeptical or I feel like, you know, this seems a little off, I'll go into Glassdoor and I'll sort the reviews by um, negative reviews and see kind of like what people are saying about the company. Um, a lot of times like employers that do have issues with hiring, um, they'll have like current employees write fake reviews. And so if you if you go and you see all the reviews, like the last 10 reviews are all kind of saying no cons, no cons, all pros, all pros. It's to me usually an indication that they're fake. Um, there's pros and cons to everything. so. When, when they're missing the cons, that's a little um, telling to me. So here are some resources. If you do get a fraudulent email, sometimes employers, your CSUN email is public information. Um, sometimes students will get like an email um, and it'll be made to look like it's from a Gmail, but it'll be made to look like they're sending it from an on-campus um, staff or faculty. Um, I've seen that happen where they even used our logo and the signature, but it was a Gmail. So those are kind of things you can 
identify to make sure it's it's a legitimate um, employer. If an employer is emailing you from a Gmail, and, and, and it, again, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Um, people don't usually recruit that way. So uh, an employer shouldn't be sending you an email from a Gmail asking you to send your resume um, or to apply to their job. Um, so going back out, um, we have CareerLink. So if you want to go back into CareerLink, we've highlighted some of um, the uh, job search tools from CareerLink. And this will take you back into CareerLink. Because I'm already logged in, my CSUN login um, hasn't timed out. I'm able to go in between two different programs um, without having to log in again. Um, so yeah, you can see other resources in here. And um, that's a helpful section. Um, so going back to the presentation, uh, here are some campus representatives in Handshake. So Handshake would be the centralized career center. If you email, if you have any questions about Handshake, please email handshake at csun.edu. Um, you can also call us at this phone number if. Um, you have a question about work study, you can email the work study office. Um, the College of Business, their career center is called Career and Professional Development Office. They do academic internships, they do VMOC, um, they do industry night. Um, you can contact them. This is their phone, this is their email, general email, if it's specifically about business internships and then their office phone number. Then the accounting uh, and IS information systems department, they have a career center as well. This is their phone number, their program email, and their website. Um, and then alumni relations also does career programming and are in Handshake. And if you have um, any questions, you can call them. And um, these are their uh, links to their career programming. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming today and let's get into the chat and see, um, um, oh, well, before we get into the chat, um, let's launch the last poll really quick. Um, uh, okay. Uh, so I've just launched another poll. If you're still here, please um, answer the question and let us know how you're feeling about um, Handshake after today's session. And um, if you have any questions, I'll put my email. And phone number. Okay, um, so we have pretty much everybody answered. We've got a few people who haven't. I'm gonna go ahead and end the poll. We're at 90%, I think that, oh, 93%, great. Okay, so share results. So now everyone can kind of see how everyone's feeling about the event, um, about the workshop and their knowledge of Handshake. That's great to see. Um, thank you for coming today and let's get into these questions. Let's see. So from the top, could you share your screen? Thank you. I, I missed that. If you were joining in the beginning, I accidentally um, uh, was using another screen as I was talking. Um, so thank you for can alums still join events? Yes, um, our events are open to alums. Uh, again, you're gonna wanna update your CSUN handshake profile. So you never lose access to your CSUN portal login credentials and you can continue accessing handshake with your portal login. But what you are gonna wanna do is update your email. So in the settings, um, you're gonna go add another email, add your non-CSUN email, and then once you've confirmed that email, go back into Handshake 
and set that email as your primary email. So if the system emails you or an employer emails you, that notification is going to go to your uh, personal email. Um, so yes, alums are still able to attend. We are um, wanting to authenticate that you are indeed a CSUN alum because we're funded to serve CSUN students and alums. And so we're not open to the community. Um, so uh, we will need to authenticate to make sure you are a CSUN student. Um, and what about international students who don't have a social security number? So um, a, a good resource for um, uh, for um, international students is, um, I'm gonna go to CareerLink because in CareerLink, we have identity-based resources and we have a section for international students. And here you can go to the, you'll find information um, on uh, how to get a, a social security um, number and um, I'm trying to think where resources on and off campus might be there. No. Okay. I know there is something in here. Um, So, um, I know there's Well, I don't have the answer about the social security number, but I do know that this department, the International and Exchange Student Center does have office hours where you can come and uh, meet with um, advisement. Uh, and you can ask um, about um, social security numbers because I know as a, um, international student in order to work um, that, I don't know if it, on campus you need a social security number, I think you do, but um, yeah, I know that th their office would be helpful um, for that. Um, and there might be more information in here. Social security number, great. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the comment. So that, so I did find this from the identity-based resources in CareerLink that took me to the International Student Office that has information about how to obtain a social security number. So if that person is still here. So is it possible to still apply if the school year does not match? Yeah, um, sometimes employers will put a school year now, if it's an on-campus student job and you're an alum, you wouldn't qualify for a student employment job because you need to be a current student. Um, if an employer is looking for um, a junior or senior, but you're um, a master's student or a sophomore and you have experience, it's it's a it's kind of a grayscale. It's not black and white. So. Um, it depends on um, how competitive of an applicant you are. A school year is not a is not always a hard determinant of whether you qualify or not. 
Um, so if it's something that you're very passionate about and you feel like you're a great fit, still apply. Um, um, is there a minimum level of progress through our major courses that we should achieve before applying for internships? Jan, if you're on the, if you're able to unmute and answer that question, I think you'll be a great answer for that. Is there a minimum level of progress through our major courses that we should achieve before applying for internships? From my understanding, students usually um, get an internship in their third year. Um, but I've known a student who's gotten an internship as a sophomore who was very like, um, you know, uh, a personality type and um, they got an internship uh, through networking and clubs and orgs and faculty and um, it, building your network is important. Um, as a college student, you know, you're paying for your degree but you're also paying for your network. Um, and uh, so it's important to capitalize on it when you are a student. Um, like, uh, like, will they help to make it from, oh, so is it, oh, for the resume critique at the Career Center. So we do drop-ins, um, uh, going to go to the um, Career Center so here's the Career Center homepage susan.edu slash career and if you scroll all the way down under services we have our drop-ins they're in person and virtual um, you can find the Zoom information and the days and the times. Um, and they critique resume. So if you've already created a resume, um, they can critique it. If you need to create a resume from scratch and you don't know where to get started, you can come to a drop-in and they can give you resources on how to get started. So drop-ins are for any career-related question. So if you're in the beginning stages, they're not gonna write the resume for you, but they're gonna give you resources on how to um, create that resume. Once you've created it, you bring it back and they'll critique it for you. Um, so yeah, those would be um, within our drop-ins. If you are an EOP student, um, you have additional drop-in hours. Um, you're still able to come during these hours, but you also have um, this schedule as well. Um, And yeah, they help with cover letters. They can even do a mock interview if you want to practice a mock interview. Um, so that was all the questions I got in the chat. But then some people also asked in the Q&A, if I make it visible, can everyone see it, including employers and other students? So if this person is still in the room, um, no, they cannot, uh, if it's, pri if you make it visible, so it, there's two different visibilities um, in Handshake. And I'm just gonna go really quick to my avatar settings. Community is to network with students, alums, and employers. If you're looking for somebody from a certain club or organization, working in a field that you're you want to connect with um this is a great tool to try and find um connections that way um but if you are set to private you won't be able to use that um feature if you want to message employers only and not students and alums then you can set it to employers so there's three different privacy settings um you can do just employers or employers and students and alums um, so those are the visibility. Um, oh, you're talking about your, if maybe your document, your resume, if you make your resume visible, then, and your profile is um, set to community or employers, and yeah, people can see your resume. Um, I recommend you do not put your address in your resume. Is it a 
Okay, so yeah, it is, you You are able to apply to a job if your school year doesn't match. Um, like I said, sometimes employers are like, I need a senior, but you've worked in this job already and you have experience. I'm sure the employer would want to hear from you. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend to not let qualifications always deter you um, because sometimes there's, um, it's a balance. Um, if you look at uh, jobs on campus uh, for, for HR, um, a lot of times they'll say, you know, uh, a business administration major or somebody with two years experience um, managing uh, a store, I, you know, not a store, but so work experience and, and degree are, um, it's a gray scale and the same with school year. It's it's a gray scale. It's it's not always black and white. Sometimes it is. If you're looking for on-campus student employment, it is black and white. You have to be a student in order to apply. And sometimes they are looking for someone who's not graduating in May, 2024. They're looking for somebody who's gonna be able to work through May, 2025. And so depending on where you're at in your uh, academic um, journey, you might be, uh, not qualified based on when you graduate. And um, so occasionally, yes, but not always. So um, if the job looks great and you want to apply, I say go for it. So that's all the questions and we're running a little bit late. So I'm going to let everyone go um, and we're done for today. Um, if you have any questions, email handshake at csun.edu. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it.